Hi everybody, I want to start out by saying thank you so much for the overwhelming and wonderful response that you guys gave me to my first uh, YouTube on-camera video. Um, so you let me know that you liked what I did, so I'm going to keep it coming, and a lot of you requested that I would do a makeup video, so that's what I'm going to do today. Um, everything that I'm wearing right now on my face is from the MAC to the Beach Summer Collection. And MAC keeps the collections coming pretty fast and furious. Um, sometimes it's, it's easy to just see a collection come and, and not really even know what's in it. This is a, a good one, especially for brown beauties who are looking to kind of accentuate that outdoor summer glow. Um, so I'm going to tell you about like the five products that are at my absolute favorite from this collection that MAC sent to me. Number one, the bronzers. These are the two bronzers that are from the collection. This one is a cream bronzer, and this one is a powder bronzer. I'm wearing the powder bronzer right now. I did not realize that bronzer could be my friend for a long time, and for, you know, forever I'd be getting samples of bronzer or purchasing bronzer in the hopes of, like, I'm, I'm finally going to master it, and I never would. And it wasn't until I went to the Sam Fine makeup event and he um, demonstrated on the model how to put it on that it finally clicked in my head. So all you do basically with the cream is just use a little bit on your finger and kind of like he used it on the outer perimeters of the face and like here to kind of just, you know, give your overall exterior of your face this kind of glow that just makes your features pop. It's, it's really made a big difference to my makeup regimen. Um, so right now I'm wearing this one, which is refined golden bronzing powder. I love that their containers are in these fun colors with, um, with, you know, different beach motifs on them. So, I really like the bronzer. I'm also wearing the blush right now, which is Hypnos, which is kind of a pale coral um, with like a kind of a pearl finish to it. It's a little more subdued than I might normally choose a blush to be, but I think subdued is better, and especially when it comes to blush, less can be more. I don't want to go out of the house looking like I was shot in the face with Homer Simpson's makeup gun. So, so I like this one. Um, and MAC also has a beautiful item, the Highlight Powder, which is Marine Life. I'm going to bring him up real close to show you because I think he's just too cute. Can you see him? It's a seahorse. I love seahorses. But because of that, I have to say, I don't know, I have a thing with items like this where I prefer to just admire them and not actually use them. I think it's so pretty that there's something about it, I just want to keep them on my dresser and, and not really use them. So if you're looking for a product that you're going to get a lot of use out of and you like this kind of thing and, and you know, by all means, but for me, I would prefer to stick to the actual blush and the bronzer combo because they deliver the color and, and the payoff that I'm looking for. Everything on my eyes I'm wearing now is also from the To The Beach collection. And I don't know if you guys can really, let me see if I can bring it in close so you can see. Um, so yeah, I really, really, really like these colors. This is Sweet and Punchy, which I'm going to open it up so you can see a little bit better what it looks like. Yeah, I went a little blurry there. I don't know what to do about that. Um, it's a bright yellow acid, yellow green kind of an acid color. It reminds me a little bit of Bitter, which is one of my all-time favorite MAC eyeshadows but it's a little bit more yellow and, and it's got a kind of a gold on it as well when you put it on. So I really like that. And right on my lid there I used Rosemary and Thyme, which is a re-release pencil which is included in the collection. If you've got brown eyes or green eyes or hazel eyes, I think this would be an absolutely gorgeous color to just add to your, your staple of, of products. Um, as you can see, I've been using it quite a bit. <laughs> I really, really like it. It's very easy to wear, very, like, even for just a daytime, you know, going out to the grocery store type look, I, I like that. That pencil's really pretty. This is Float On By, which is a deep turquoise, and I just use that a little bit, like, on the inside and under here. Um, but on its own, it has even greater of a color impact, and it's a really... Beautiful turquoise, if you're into those kind of colors. I love that kind of stuff for the summer. Turquoise is one of my favorite, favorite colors. So I really like this pencil. And it does have a nice, like, slip to it. You know, some pencils you buy. I mean, but with MAC, you know you're getting quality for the most part. But 
yeah, I like I like the feel of this pencil on my eyelids, and that makes a big difference to me. On my lips, I am wearing the Temperature Rising Lip Pencil, which is described as loudmouth orange, which <laughs> is hilarious to me, because I'm not really a loudmouth kind of person. But it it looks crazy when you look at the pencil, but when you put it on, especially with my skin tone, it's not as bright and and loud as you may expect. I toned it down with this gloss, which is so pretty. I love it. And this is Easy Lounger, which is a color that I might not wear on its own, but when you layer it over other colors, it is very, very pretty. So this is the Loudmouth Orange Temperature Rising layered over with this. It just kind of gives you a, a soft coral which I like very much for the summer. So I, I like the whole collection. It's very outdoorsy, very fresh, and um, yeah, thank you, Mac. So I appreciate that. Um, I'm going to keep the makeup videos coming, and I'll let you guys know about latest collections that come out and what I actually like from the collection, what I would recommend, um, and I'll try to do a look from each one. I'm not by any means a makeup artist. I do the best that I can, but I hope you liked this video, and let me know if you did. Um, leave comments. Constructive criticism always helps. I'm trying to get better, and um, I hope that I'm giving you guys some entertainment and, and information that's relevant. So thank you so much um, for your support and your love and everything, and um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, bye.